Hello and good morning, everyone. I am the representative of school, South Wales Girls College, and I will be taking you through our website today. So let's get into it. Before we move on to the website, let me give a small introduction of our school. South Wales College is situated in the Gold Dutch Fort. It started as a small school for both boys and girls, but later became a girls on college. From that day to this day, the school has grown to become one of the leading schools in the Gold District. All of that information and more is in our website I'm going to show you today. And let's get right into it. When you first visit our website, you will see the first page which is obviously the homepage. The homepage basically has our school vision and mission, uh, a welcome note from our principal, our notice board, latest news, and our location in goal. If you are interested, feel free to take any screenshots. It's not much, but we like to keep it short and sweet. But with that, we'll move on to the next main page about our school. This page has a more detailed description of our school. It has information about history and traditions, identity, rules and regulations. There are many subcategories to it, as you can see. But we will not go into much details. The history category, the history category, as you can see, describes the time from the beginning of the school and the present state. Next up, next up is the founder of our school, who was Miss Lucy van der Straten. Um, we are going to upload an image for it. So, um, so let's move on to the next one, the past principles. So now there is a long list as you can see here so i'll not go into details uh, what you need to know is that there is a description of all the principles from the first to the present next category the identity here you can see that we have a lot of subcategories as it will take a lot of time i will not explain it all to you you will probably be able to access the information when the website is published under the uh, so in here, this is the school profile, and you can find a lot of information over here. And the next one is our school vision and mission, as you saw in the home page. And the next one is our school song. And the next one is our school crest and our school motto. And then it's our school flag. Then this is our school uniform. Uh, we couldn't upload the image, the images that we wanted. Uh, as you can see, these images, because there was a problem in it, as you can see. Uh, so um, let's go to the next part: rules and regulations. So there is a big list here. So. I won't be telling you about them because uh, all of you might know what's in this because it's same for every school. So let's go to the next main menu and it's academic. And there are five categories in it as curriculum, administration, academic staff, student performance, and admission. So under the curriculum, category, we have two subcategories as primary school and secondary school. So um, let's go to primary school. And these are the these are things that they study. And let's go to the next one, secondary school. And this is the secondary school. And then let's go to the management structure. Now, in this, um, this might be the same to every school, so there is not much in it. So let's go to the academic staff. Uh, first, we have our principal, 
who is um, Mrs. Shanti Senaviratna. And next is our deputy principals. We will be uploading images um, later. And the next one is academic staff. Next, we have our academic staff, which has nearly 150 teachers. And the non-academic staff, which has 41 staff members. And lastly, the prefects board. And in here, the, pre the prefect board, which is led by Tarshi Hassandi, as you can see here. And that's basically the end of the session as we have been unable to develop the students' performance and the admission. So next, let's go to the news and highlights part. Now, in this page, you can find all the news from the past few years and the highlights, events, and festivals. You only have to click read more and you will get all the information you will need. So I will show you one of them. So as you can see here, there are some images and a little information about it. Uh, so now let's talk about achievements next. Achievements are really important for students and the school to be proud of. That is why we all have, we all have the achievements of our school listed here. Just like the news and highlights, you only have to click read more and you will get all you need to know. Next, we have clubs and associations. This is a very important thing to students, just like education. If, er, if any student of the school is interested, they can just have a peek like this and see the teachers in charge, coach, coach of any sport, and other teachers you will need to contact if you are interested in any of these. And now we will move into the next part, gallery. Now, this is a section our developers had some trouble with. We found ourselves unable to upload any images due to some issues, which is unfortunate. Although we have asked help from some experts, we have still been unable to upload any images. So it's with some regret that we have to skip the gallery for today, but we hope, fix, we hope to fix the issues and complete the gallery, gallery in the next in the near future. So the last page, the page where you can contact us. As you can see, here we have our email and phone and our location in the map shown, as, shown here as well. You can forward any inquiries you want and we will contact you with the answer later. And that is what, I, that is what we managed to accomplish in a few weeks time. And before I end, I would like to give a special thanks to our teachers who help, helped us along the way and the students who developed the site day and night. It was a team effort and one which we are proud about. With that, it is the end of my presentation. Thank you for having me and have a nice day.